Thank you, David. It's now 8.04, minus 11 at the airport, minus 18 with the wind chill. Good morning, everyone. Breaking news to pass your way this morning. Calgary-based Ancana, the natural gas giant, slashing 20% of its workforce, focusing now on five North American resource plays and spinning off royalty-producing properties into separate companies. Ancana is closing its office in Plano, Texas, also consolidating offices in Calgary and Denver. Ancana will also be creating a new company focusing just on southern Alberta, Persistent low natural gas prices are to blame for these changes. A town hall meeting is scheduled for tomorrow in Calgary with Ancana's president and CEO Doug Suttles. Three crashes in four days involving sea trains. That's prompting a warning and a plea from emergency officials asking drivers to pay better attention to the road in our city. The latest crash right during the middle of the day in downtown Calgary, a C train coming together with a vehicle at 3rd Street, 7th Ave Southwest. Police say this crash happened because the driver was not paying attention. In fact, all three drivers involved with crashes with C trains over the past four days, all three drivers have been charged with running a red light. Thankfully, no one has been hurt. Stars Air Ambulance airlifting a man in his 60s to hospital after this bad crash along the northern edge of our city. A man had to be cut free of the wreckage by firefighters after crashing with a semi. This happened at Simons Valley Road and Highway 567. The victim is in serious condition. At the time of the collision, uh, the roadway did have icy sections. And we're just investigating now to determine if the icy road uh, led to the collision. The driver of the semi is okay. No word if any charges will be laid. In business news, Honda is recalling 344,000 Odyssey minivans for a sensor issue. The automaker says the problem can cause the vehicle to break on its own. The recall includes minivans from 2007 and 2008 model years. The fix involves installing a new sensor but those sensors won't be available until spring of 2014. Until then, Honda is offering advice to deal with the issue, including asking drivers to start their minivans with the wheels facing straight ahead, allowing the system to properly calibrate. The company says the issue has not led to any crashes or injuries. Market Report is brought to you by RRP, specializing in engineering, procurement, and construction management. Rapid Response Project, where every project matters. People are scrambling right now to get winter tires on their vehicles, especially after two significant snowfalls in the city of Calgary. Tire shops swamped across the city. Employees, like in this shop, they're working overtime trying to keep up with demand. Many, many tire locations are booking weeks away now. If you can get in sooner than that, do consider yourself lucky. Every year it's the same. Everyone waits until it's the last minute. Nothing you can do about it. You just got to try to do your best. Experts say winter tires do work, giving you better traction and a shorter stopping distance in cold, snowy weather. Looking ahead to next year, most tire shop owners recommend changing your tires long before the snow flies. They recommend changing your tires perhaps when the temperature starts to hit about, you know, five to seven degrees. 